and we are back welcome back russ hi matt <laughs> and welcome back everybody thank you for returning if you've stumbled upon this channel and you don't know where you are we are 4k kings i am matt and this is russ and we cover physical media news movie reviews and other things of that nature sounds charming if you are watching this on youtube you could also check this out on spotify um, so you can listen to this at while you're on your way to work or picking up the kids or stuck in a traffic jam I like that quick thank you to everybody that is out there commenting supporting leaving us nice messages really appreciate all your support and help and thank you for being a part of this great community and if you've forgotten we also have a contest going on it's our subscribe for drive giveaway once we hit 2k subs we will go back to our original drive video and pick our favorite comment and that person will receive a free limited well it's not limited anymore it's gone it is out of print a uh, second sight 4k special edition of drive the ryan gosling vehicle get it i drive we're only about 300 away we're 300 away we're steady climbing it's bound to happen anytime soon so please kind of check back and if you haven't subscribed yet maybe consider doing so last week we covered a lot of stuff including blood sport 4k a bunch of arrow 4k announcements disney going to criterion casablanca we reviewed poltergeist rambo first blood lost boys and uh, so much more but now this week we have quite a slate as well russ so we're going to be checking out roadhouse in 4k texas chainsaw massacre in 4k part two part two give me two we're going to discuss the rocky 4k announcement we're also going to review army of darkness we're going to review fright night we're going to talk about the halloween uh 4k box set that screen factory is putting out which is film six through eight we're going to discuss our thoughts on those films as well plus our big recommendation of the week extravaganza because it's halloween coming up soon it's the month of october we thought we would share our Halloween picks of the week, but instead of just doing one each, we're gonna go through A through Z and do a bit of a A through Z challenge like we've seen a couple other people out there do that we thought maybe we should give a try as well, but we're gonna shove all of our favorite Halloween films in there instead. Yes, the viewers, if anything, have been demanding nothing but recommendations from us. It's probably the hottest video, so we decided instead of giving you just one or two, we're gonna give you a 30. Pretty fucking great. Thought we could give a quick update on one of our favorite topics, which is those Tarantino 4Ks, those darn Tarantino 4Ks that won't leave the news cycle. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Finally, I think there's, everything has sort of been settled and set in stone. So I think now we can finally, with a good conscious share, exactly what is what, um, with the exception of what the features are on the Pulp Fiction release. So that will be next week. <sighs> to be continued. But the Reservoir Dogs art has been confirmed. The Steelbook is going to be that sliced ear, slide down, slip case. And then they're going to have a regular edition that has sort of this um, red, white. It's the Ocean's Eleven edition. So you get two choices with this. Lionsgate is giving us the Saw edition and the Ocean's Eleven standard edition. What's this guy's problem? And honestly, on this cover, I feel like the characters look blurry. Mr. Brown looks like he's about to fall over. It could have easily been the original art. I really wish it was. Maybe it's on the other side, but doubtful. Um, and they've also shown what their special features are going to be on these releases, which is about what we all probably expected. It does say new 4K restoration, HDR Dolby Vision presentation, but you're talking about some deleted scenes and like two featurettes. So the same stuff we've had on every previous release. Pretty much. So exactly. So you're not going to get anything else that's of any worth here. You're a smart motherfucker. That's right. But then also Pulp Fiction has finally gotten its art revealed as well. And again, you kind of have a mixed bag here, but I think there is at least one clear winner. So here's the steel book and it's John and Uma dancing on a record, I guess. And uh, hey, what's with the record? I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. It looks cheesy as hell. It's, it's not even bad artwork. It's like that doesn't even remind me of Pulp. Is there a record in Pulp Fiction? So on the inside, you got them again, close up of their dancing faces. But on the back, you have the milkshake in, a, in the cheeseburger. I mean, I get it. We all have a $5 milkshake, but... It's just, yeah, it's corny. Lame. It's just corny. Spoken like a true prodigy. Outside of that corny-ass deal, you're going to get an option to have the, basically the regular art, except it's in complete black and white, except for Pulp Fiction, which is in red. And they also put le red on her lips and her fingernails, which I don't think this looks bad. I think yeah. if they're going to say, like, we've got to tweak this somehow, at mm -hmm. least they did the minimal... Yeah. To not mess with it. This is the Sin City edition of Pulp Fiction. It's not terrible. It's just uninspired. If I were, if I were to pick this up, I am definitely going with this over the Steelbook, which is rare. 
And I know we kind of joke too about what if it had one of those plastic slip down slide cases. Mm. And um, I commented that it would be like really weird if it was like the syringe going into Uma Thurman's chest. But I saw someone did actually do like a mock up and it's this. <laughs> which when i saw that i actually did a double take because i was like oh my god is this real and i would buy that i like that better than the official releases we are getting shit negro that's all you had to say let's jump into some of the more hotter news stories of the week and this first one um was an immediate purchase an immediate mm -hmm. pre-order didn't even think twice i saw it and boom just went right to it it didn't Same. even didn't even check my bank account i'm probably in the negative now i apologize to my family because i can't put food on the table because i had to have roadhouse and roadhouse is coming out november 19th from vinegar syndrome which Again, this is a pretty big title for them, and there's there's not a whole lot of details that they've shared at the moment. This is coming up for their Black Friday, halfway to Black Friday sale. The only details that they did manage to share were that it's coming with an original Vinegar Syndrome 4K restoration from the original 35 millimeter camera negative. Now, I'm not too familiar with their transfers and their 4K releases and stuff. I feel like they do a great job, and usually they their titles are B pictures, right. for lack of a better term. So, uh, they, oh, dude, they do incredible work with those. I can't wait to see what they've done with this. Well, it does say that it will have an original making of documentary and some other hard hitting extras. Opinions vary. And this is actually not just a regular Vinegar Syndrome release. It's one of their Vinegar Syndrome Ultra releases. And which means basically that you're going to get a really high quality magnet clasp box mm -hmm. with a booklet inside, plus the movie within the slip case. So it's going to be like Miami Connection and New York Ninja. Well, not well. Apparently, Miami Connection isn't a Vinegar Syndrome Ultra release. It says that this is its um, fourth VSU release, and the other ones were Beastmaster, Cloak and Dagger, and Six String Samurai. I wish I brought over the New York Ninja. To yeah, show I mean, you, I kind of thought I thought the same thing. Like, hadn't they done this before? But I guess not. These are the only ones. It does look really, really nice. And what all I kept thinking was, I really like what companies like Arrow do, and you know, so forth, where it's like a nice thicker box, and they have the po postcards and all that kind of thing in there. But honestly, if they just gave me a really nice box with a booklet and the movie, I'd be fine. Fine. I'm with you. That's all I want is a nice uniform box right. set. Seems to me you'd be a little more philosophical about it. Yeah, and a, and a booklet to discuss the movie, whatever. I think that's a nice touch. But all the extra things, if we could just get to that, I think that would be really cool. And that's what this is. Now, I will say it is rather pricey. Before, it was $65, at, not at the time of the sale when I bought it, but that's what it was going for. I got, I think it was like half off at the mm -hmm. time of the sale. And eventually they will have a regular edition of this that doesn't have the nice box and everything else. So if you want to save some cash, then you can do that. The cash is easy to get. Let us know down below, are these really worth that, that price? Is that quality really that great? They put a lot of care into their releases and I'm happy to see Vinegar Syndrome get some high profile titles like this. Just lucky, I guess. Thinking to myself when I saw this, like, wow, just recently, I've seen them putting out movies that I know the names of for once. <laughs> but to see this, I'm like kind of going back to the argument that you've made before about things that Criterion puts out. It's like at some point they need to make money. So let them make money so they, they can continue on their business. This seems like that to me. Like this is a title they were able to get because their star is rising a little bit more maybe. Mm -hmm. And they've got more cash flow, but that's only going to help them finance other things. And hey, this is a great title to get. And... If you're going to go with a more well-known film, or I, I guess at this time, this was poised to be a blockbuster. What I mean, this is the one to go to if you're Vinegar Syndrome. Yeah. I mean, what are they going to put out, Twister? I don't want to fight. Just to speak on the art for a second. Be nice. You know, the likeness of Dalton is great. I think the Roadhouse looks great. Sometimes when you have this kind of like, let's fill out every last inch of it, I feel like sometimes it can come across a little busy. Cocksucker, I want you to be nice. I think he looks good. The rest of them are okay, but in general, I think the art looks cool because mainly my focal point is Patrick anyway. I like it. I think it's great. And you'll both be nice. <laughs> the one that I own was the Shout Select mm -hmm. Collector's Edition, and this was number four, the fourth Shout Select. And there was actually a lot of new stuff for a Shout Select. Usually there's not too much on here, but there was five new featurettes, not even just interviews, like making ofs and all kinds of stuff that was put on here. Hmm. And it's got the original classy sort of art. Same thing, you know, Patrick, same thing That's as that. the original. 
It's like a variation. Variation. The original, the original pose. But... That's the same pose as this um, Roadhouse one here from Vinegar Syndrome. See him? And regardless of owning that, I pre-ordered this instantly. It was like 4K Roadhouse. Yes. Same. Thanks. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 is coming out for Vinegar Syndrome also. This is coming out October 25th, so it's like right around the corner. And this is another highly sought after 4K release coming from them. 4K Blu-ray set, newly scanned and restored in 4K from the 35 millimeter camera negative. Slap me fire. <laughs> this one was also previously released from Screen Factory in a collector's edition as well as Arrow. But this one, again, just looks to be like phenomenal. Yep. I believe this is the first title I've noticed getting a four a four K upgrade from a different studio from them. Yeah, because that's all they've been really focusing on anymore is four K releases. I mean, it's been the Fun House, uh, Return of the Living Dead. They're going through all their back titles, and this is a big back title for them. I guess they lost the rights. Well, I'll say in this instance that for fans of this movie that it's probably a good thing that this company's putting it out, which is kind of sad to say because Scream is such a great company. But like you said, they're putting out their whole back catalog, but giving you nothing new at all, just a transfer. Mm -hmm. This here is packed. Boys, boys, boys. Packed with stuff, like new stuff, old stuff. It's insane what you're getting here. So those that need to double dip on something, at least you're getting something for your money, which is pretty awesome. Hours, I'm talking hours hours of previous features interviews documentaries and now there's new stuff including a commentary from a film cr film critic interview from tom savini interview with four actors from the movie and actress of the movie interviews with the special effects team you know all kinds of just new stuff this cover art is badass mm -hmm. like there's a really cool cover art hoppers on the back he looks cool as shit yep and not to mention but you'll get the iconic cover underneath and here's the back um which also looks pretty cool yeah same thing as what we just said with Roadhouse. I pre-ordered this immediately. I've been waiting for this. They announced this, what, April of this year, I want to yeah. say? I mean, this has been, we knew this was coming. So happy. This yeah. Is coming. This, is, this is gearing up to be a top five release of the year as well. There's only 10,000 copies of the limited one. Oh my God. Which sounds like a lot, but I mean, you know, this is a big title for, and a lot of people are interested in this movie, so. They do great work. Yeah. Highly, right. highly recommended to anyone who's watching who has never taken the plunge. Pick up some Vinegar Syndrome uh, releases. You won't regret it. Mm -hmm.